good morning. Are you ready for Relax and Paint today? I am, and I'm thrilled to be up early working with you and sharing some painting that I think that you will really like today. Something a little different, and we're doing birds. We did, we're gonna draw it, and we're gonna show how, I know, draw it, you're gonna freak on me. I want you to think, I want you to relax and think. I'm gonna do step by step with Donna. I want you to re-watch this when you're trying to do it. And if you're ready with me now with a pencil, you can go right now. I'm gonna use a piece of scrapbooking paper. I've been playing around a little bit before we got started. And so I am ready to share sweet little birds. I really like birds. I think they're fun. I like to paint them. I like to add them to my floral paintings and um, create, I was gonna do a parrot and some other birds later, but I wanted to start out um, with this. And I want you to remember something new that I have is on Fridays, we're gonna help you who are beginners to learn some simple strokes. It's simple strokes with Donna and it's every Friday. And we're gonna be teaching you, I'm gonna go one stroke at a time. And we just last week did single stroke leaves. And it's all about slider leaves and one stroke leaves and clusters of leaves for the beginner, the first stroke you're gonna do. And many people showed me their worksheets where they practice. I, I, you have homework every, Wednesday, every Friday, so I hope over the weekend or the beginning on Mondays, you could get started doing some strokes with me. So you're ready to learn the next stroke, right? And, uh, and later today, I'm going to be doing some of those strokes, so I'll be ready for Friday, all right? So join me. And I want us all take a deep breath and realize that God's in control, not the coronavirus. So we need to like put it in his hands and have faith that we're going to be fine. And I keep having my grandfather clock go off. So when you hear that chime, that's what it is. Okay, so let's go down to the canvas and let's see what we're going to be painting with my multi-surface book art multi-surface paint okay so I've been painting the birds so I've got cobalt and uh, wicker white I have some yellows like yellow ochre and daffodil yellow and some magenta and so there's floating medium there too and we're just on a foam plate we're going to be using a couple of brushes that I was using earlier to as I was painting here and we are going to uh, where's my 12? There it is. All right, I'm going to be using my 12 flat. Okay, now I have the different brushes. I have just to let you know because people keep saying, Tell me about your brushes. So the green handle brushes are my value pack of brushes, and they were the 10 most used brushes. And you have flats and scruffies and liners, which is what I mostly use. 10 of them as a super deal on onestroke.com. All right, and then I also have these new signature brushes, and they're 13 brushes, and they have some specialty brushes, all have the, uh, my roses painted on them. Okay, so those 13 brushes are a higher quality, but when you're starting, just get your value pack and you're fine to go. All right, so let's let's start with our drawing, and I just get these little inexpensive mechanical pencils because I love the white eraser. And there are two lead in here. And so what I want to do is I want to come over. This is my scrapbooking paper that I've had for years, but it's not available anymore. I just wanted you to see um, that how the bird looks on a painting itself. It's already got a background for me. So lots of people, when they do a bird, they do a circle for a head. And then they make the body come from that circle. So what I want you to see is you can do that, but when I want, what we want to do is, first of all, we have the head, and the beak is going to be a V into the head, and then we V out of the head, all right? So a lot of people put the beak totally outside of the head, and so what you see, I'm going in, all right? Then they come here and make this right here and they come like this. And so the head looks like it's a ball stuck on the bird. 
so we don't want to do that all right so what we're going to do on this first bird that i'm going to show you is i'm going to curve down and have a fat little tummy okay and sometimes they're chickadees and they're colored under the neck or whatever and we did a hummingbird um, already a couple of times on here so i want you to see this is a cute little bluebird now i'm coming up with this one because i want his tail to go straight up and i'm going to show you a different way to do a tail too but we're going to come right here and he's got that cute little tail going up okay so it's the scoop all the way from the beak all the way around. I know y'all can do that. Okay, so then I'm gonna decide that I want the wing to come from his head. Let's go straight out this way. All right, and so it's gonna come right at the back of the head. And then we have right here, So can you see his, his wing? Now the wing can come down like this, or, or you can come from here and have him flying and he's landing, all right? So you would go like this with his back. See his back goes into the wing. But I'm gonna probably come along here and cover some of this up with the wing okay so we can see what this is going to look like all right so then so this is what this is going to look like okay so then i want to show you how to do this other bird so i'm going to have it facing there so we're doing different different positions all right so here's the, the head all right on this one I still want to come under here and have a tummy. But on this one, if you there's two ways to do it. You can have the tail, the tail come all the way up. Or on this one, you can take the top of the head, the body, and you can come down with the way, the tail. You've seen a lot of them like this where they're coming down. All right. And then I can then still do the wing. There could be a wing out here. And then I can come with a second wing in here. All right. So I just want positioning, positioning. So I want to show you this. This was how to get the tail in here. See that? It's a big oval. This one is the scoop of the tummy all the way up for the tail. All right. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna take my 12 and I'm gonna come in here and get some white and work in the blue. A lot of white, because I want him like a pretty soft blue. Okay, and you want the brush two thirds full of paint. You've dried out the water, but I need to dip lightly into the medium and work that in, because I want it to move like butter. All right, so I'm gonna come right around here to where the beak is and I'm gonna do a half a circle. And then I'm gonna come right in here under the cheek and I'm gonna have the white going on along the bottom of the tummy, okay? I stroked and got some more white. All the way around. And then I'm going to go on up and do the tail. So if I come up here, let's go up this way a little bit more. And I've got the little strokes. Stroke higher, higher, uh, lower, lower. There we go. And then I'm going to take blue into it. So I can bring blue up into the tail. And it's just straight feathers. Okay. Now, I can still blend this a little bit back and forth. All right, before I start doing the wing, 
I can also come in here and with my eight, I want to get some magenta and some white and work this into the eight. This is the eight flat brush. They all come in my set, makes it really easy for you. Okay, so what I want to do is under this beak, right here, I'm going to come and do the cheek. And then I'm going to bring the bottom around and just brush that in. Okay, now I can take my finger and just tap it, or I can tap the corner and put some pink in there, okay? It just makes it a little cutesy, or you can just come back in and add more white if you don't want so much pink. Okay, so now I'm gonna get more blue and white. I'm gonna keep going over here and get more, and maybe even get a little bit of medium on the blue side. All right, so this is what's gonna happen right up here. I do a long one stroke leaf. And then what I'm gonna do is pick up more white and I'm gonna pull feathers all the way along here. And I'm gonna need a second row as you can see. So I pick up more white I didn't have to get blue because we had plenty of blue on the brush still. There we go. All right. And then you can decide if you want the, sometimes the tails are tipped with licorice. Sometimes they're tipped with pure white. But it's another V. Can you see that? There's a V there and then there's a V down into the feathers. All right. And sometimes I will take a little bit of white and do a little fluffy, little fluffy feathers on the bottom. I do chickens and chicks and all like that too, where I'm just making it a little fuzzy down there. All right. And we're going to take our liner and I'm going to pick up the yellow ochre and go into the beak into the head, I mean. And I can put a little bit of highlight of yellow on here. So isn't he cute? And then I can put three little dots for his eye. And I can put a little darker blue right there. And you could put a little smile in that beak there with a teeny bit of white right there. Okay. So isn't he cute? And you put him in with your flowers, he makes it wonderful. Okay, so this is a little bit different than the hummingbird that we did. So I'm going to also show you quickly that we're going to do the bird with a different position. I can come here. You can just have the blue along here. And you work it all in. Okay. I'm gonna come down here with the tail. I want this to come into the tail. All right, so now we need the, the wings. Now on this one, I could come right here, the back wings, then I can put this back on it. Can you see that? Ah, oh, I have too much paint on that brush. This is the beauty about one stroke, you can just clean it up. Okay. There we go. 
Now I can then come in here, guys, and do some feathers. These are the wing feathers, and I'm going straight on the chisel. Then I can put the second wing right on top. And they're coming from the neck, so don't go out too far. So I can come around like this and I can then add a second row if I need to, but sometimes, sometimes you're okay without it. But if you want a second row here, see that needs to be straight across the back. A lot of people when they're doing their birds, they flip this bird wing, feather up, wing up and it just needs to be straight. Feathers don't bend like that. I'm like, well, I just saw some today that did, so whatever. <laughs> Sometimes they do. All right, so isn't he kind of cute? So then all I'm gonna do again, I told you, is this, we just put in the beak, put a little highlight on it, a little bit of yellow. We can put this here. And we can also put pink on the cheek, like I did before. All right. And a little bit of white. White. And all right, are you liking this? Just something a little different today, I thought. Give you a little something different, a little bit of pink in here. Just tapping it just a little bit. All right, I can come in here. I'm not happy with that's too harsh. So there we go. Okay, so you put a little bird's nest underneath. You can put it sitting on a branch. All right, he can be skinnier, but I wanted him kind of whimsical and fluffy, not as realistic, but fun. Okay, so that's our birds. So our little blue birds, hope you enjoy it. There's a couple different shapes where I did it just a little bit different. All right, so there we go. So show me, I wanna see what you do. So ask your friends to come share with us. Please like the video if you're happy with Relax and Paint and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much, bye-bye.